as we invite our dear pastor Oliver, praise the name of the Lord, to minister to us this morning, to give us a short word of invitation, hallelujah, before we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thanks for this opportunity to share this short message. Amen. And I give thanks to Daddy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Amen. And welcome, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. Welcome all the pastors. Amen. All the ministers, all the youth, the children. Welcome. Amen. Thank you for being here. And. Uh, a quick thank you to my beautiful wife. She'll be more than likely watching online. Amen. So I thank God for your life. Amen. And you know, for everything that God has done in both of our lives in the past five years, uh, four years, four years. Amen. Amen. I give God thanks. Amen. I go straight into the word because I got 20 minutes. Amen. <laughs> I don't want to go over my time. Amen. Amen. Um, and you start with Psalms 107 and verse 1. Amen. Psalms 107, verse 1 reads, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. We give, we give God thanks. Amen. This is the reason why we give God thanks. It says, for he is good. You know, simple as, you know, no, no, we don't have to go through a big story while we give God thanks. It's simply because he is good and his mercies endures forever. Amen. You know, if you think about the mercy that God has shown us, it's amazing. You know, the mercy that he has shown us, it's amazing. You know, there are things where we shouldn't have been forgiven, forgiven of, but he has forgiven us. Amen. He has forgiven us. The things that we've done in our lives where we shouldn't have been forgiven of, but He has given, forgiven us. You know, that's what mercy is all about. You know, like, um, you just share, um, it's like, I use an example, it's like when you're driving down the road, okay, and there's a guard at checkpoint. You know you have no tax, you know you have no insurance on your car. So now fear begins to set in, you know. But then when you get stopped and the guard is talking to you, you know, he sees no tax, you know, he sees the taxes out of date. And he goes to you, you know, you know now I have the the right to take this car off you, you know, because that's the new laws now that have made that if you have no tax, they just take the car straight off you. But you, but look, I let you go. You just make sure you get taxed. You know, that's what's called like the guard showing mercy on you. On you, he's showing you mercy. You know, and he wants you to go. He's giving you a chance. You know, but that's the way God is as well. He shows mercy. He's even better than that. You know, he even forgives you, even on, on things where the guards might not forgive you, and people in the world might not forgive you. But God forgives. Yes. Amen. First Chronicles 16, verse 34. It reads, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is for he is good, for his mercies endures forever. Amen. It's the same same thing again, amen. Um, Ezra 3 verse 11. Amen. Ezra chapter 3, verse 11. It says, And and they say, uh, respectfully praising and giving thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever towards Israel then all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid amen when we give thanks we give thanks with a great shout you know there's nothing wrong with shouting you know when we're, when we're in the house of God, there's nothing wrong with giving the Lord a good shout when we're giving thanks. You know, like uh, here in uh, Ireland, we're taught to reverence, you know what I mean? 
Lord help when we come into the house of God you sit down be quiet and just you know me but God says give a shout you know when you give thanks you shout you know you know you be grateful it's like if you win the lotto you know if you win the lotto you you're not going to sit there like you're looking at the television now you're reading out the numbers and it's like um, 60, 60 million or a billion, whatever it is, you know, and you're reading out the numbers and you realize you've won. You're not gonna go, oh, I won. You know, no, you're gonna be screaming and shouting, you know, that you won. You're gonna be jumping up to God. Like, God knows what might break in the house because you've won. The coffee table might go flying, cups might go flying because you're so excited that you've won, you know. But that's the way it is with God. When God has done a great thing in our lives, we scream, we shout, we give thanks. No, because we know where we're supposed to go. You know, we know we we're destined for hell. Like you know, that was our destination. No, without Jesus, our destination was hell. You know, but because of what Jesus did on the cross, you know, our destination has changed. Amen. 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 Psalms one hundred six, verse one. Amen. It says, Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. He's, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. This is the reason why we give thanks. You know, the verse I'm reading, all the verses I'm reading now is about giving thanks. You know, to explain to you why we do thanksgiving. This is why we do thanksgiving. But it's not just once a month. We do this. This is our life. Every day, 24 7, we give God thanks. It's not just on, on the last Sunday of the month. It's every day, every minute, every second of our life, amen, that we give thanks. You know, Psalms 100, verse 5. Good. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generation. Amen. His truth endures to our generation. No, his goodness endures to all generation. No, even to our children, his goodness is there. You know, his mercy is there. You know, it's for generation to generation to generation. It's, it's in the bloodline of every child of God to give thanks to God. It's there, amen? That was uh, Psalms 107, verse 43. It says, Whoever is wise will observe these things, and they will understand the love and kindness of the Lord. You know, why, you know, we, we have to understand this, you know, that it is important to give thanks. It is very, very important, because we will understand the love and kindness. You know, that love that God shows towards us, you know, the love, you know, even when we do wrong, He still loves us, you know, He still loves us. He's not up there with a sledgehammer ready to um, slap us every time we sin. No, no, no. He comes, he comes and he, and he wants us to come to him. Yeah. No, he's a loving father that when we mess up, that we come to him and he forgives us, yeah. you know. Now, that doesn't mean we continue to do wrong, continue to sin or continue to go. No, no, no. That's not what it doesn't mean. But when we do fall short, you know, that we go before God uh, no, no, on our knees and say, God, forgive me. We cry out, you know, just like David did. No, David prostrated himself on the ground. No, David was a king. When he realized the wrong he did with um, Bathsheba, he led in the ground. It was, it was for three days, wasn't it? And he was like, he was on the ground in the dust, crying and crying, because he knew it wasn't man he sinned against, but it was God he sinned against. You know, and he asked God, he says, God, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You know, and he repented. You know, repentance. But as like, um, but we, we look at David, he never made the same mistake again. He never fell that way again. No, he never fell with another woman. Amen. Amen. Psalms 103, verse 17. Amen. Amen. It says, but the mercies of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to the children's children. Amen. Amen. You know, it says forever, for everlasting and everlasting to do on those who fear him. See, there's a condition there. He says, but the mercy of the Lord 
is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. You know, to reverence God. Fear is reverence God. No, it doesn't mean that, oh, I fear him. No, you reverence him. You know, and that's where his mercies are. You know, and uh, if you pull it back up again there. Sorry. It says, and his righteousness is, is and his righteousness to children's children. No, his righteousness will go to your children's children. You know, generation. Generation, you know. Like, when we do the right thing as, like, as uh, parents and all that, our children's children. Like, not just our children's were gained from it, but our children's children were gained from it. You know. You know, and that's the, like, when we do the right thing. Amen. Psalms 50, verse 14. Amen. It says, Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Amen. No, this is why we do this, because we're offering to God. Everything that we have in life is from God. Everything. No, we're, we are sitting here, we're standing here today because of God. No, it's, you know, it's God that gives us breath. You know, it's God that gives us breath, not anything else. It's God. It's just, I'm like, we're not alive today because of our heart and because of everything that's working perfectly in our body. No, we're alive today because of God. No, that's why we're alive. He's the one that makes everything work. You know, he's the one that has created us. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, even when we have blemishes, we're still fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, because God has met us. It's just the way God has met us. You know, and like we give him thanks, you know. Psalms 9 verse 1. Amen. Amen. It says, to the chief musician, to the tune, to the tune of David, of the son, a psalm of David, I will praise you, O Lord, and my whole heart, I will tell of your marvelous works. He says, he says, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart, and will tell of your marvelous works. Amen. You know, that's why we do testimonies, you know. Because we tell of God's marvelous works in our life. You know, that's why it's so important. Uh, the Bible says that we, we, we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. You know, that's why it's so important that we share our testimony. Never be shy. Never be shy about sharing what God has done in your life. Never be shy. You know, but, you know, never, never, ever, ever be shy to share about what God has done. No, and never be embarrassed. You know, no, because God has done it. You know, God is, you know, and we have to, we have to give thanks unto Him. Amen. You know, and the last one is um, from Philippines chapter four, verse six to seven, and it reads: Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard you, and will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Go back there to verse 6 again. You see, this is what we have to do. He says, With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. And then the following verse will follow. You know? That's why we do thanksgiving, you know, that's why we do this. We give God thanks, you know, so that, like, so that we can be blessed, you know, we can be, we will be blessed, amen. So, like, um, like, never be embarrassed, never be shy to give God thanks, you know. Yes, I know it's, sometimes it does be hard, you know me, but just, like, we, 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 we just do it, you know, we just do it. No, like Nike says, just do it. You know, it's our, it's our slogan, just do it. You know, and even every day in our lives, give God thanks. You know, just do it. You know, when you try it, try it. And you will see, your life will begin to change. Your, everything will begin to change every day. When you wake up in the morning, give God thanks. When you go to sleep at night, give God thanks. You know, and everything you will see will start going right right in your uh, in your life 
you know, because like it's like it's been like this, this is the principle that I've learned since I came to Foundation Ministries. You know, is to give God thanks always, always give Him thanks. You know, and like my life has forever changed. You know, since I came, like it's God that has done it. You know, it's God that has done it. My life has been never changed. And I give God thanks. You know, and Amen, Amen. God bless you. Amen, Amen.